Good, good evening. Uh, my name is Thomas Blue Bristol Hermerson High School, and, and welcome to the 2022 Evening of Excellence. It's so nice to see everyone here this evening, uh, especially in person, something that we haven't had the for, uh, be fortunate enough to do for several years now. So thank you for, for showing up to support our students. Uh, before I uh, get any further, I'd like to introduce several people here that are sitting down. When I, when I uh, uh, mention your name, can you please stand up? So Dr. Uh, Trisha Mooney, superintendent of the Hermerson School District. <laughs> Ms. Sally uh, Hansel, board member. Ms. Lady Holtis, board member. Ms. Bonnie Louise, board member. Ms. Karen Sherman, board member. And Mr. Josh, Josh, Josh Waller, uh, board chairman. Thank you for being here this evening. With that said, I would like to also introduce the Hermiston uh, Choir to come up and sing the national anthem. And would you please stand uh, to attention, please? Thank you. Honors medallion recipients and valedictorians. 
Let me begin our program by recognizing the Business Department Award winners to be presented by me. Would Tyler Lynn and Ingrid Mendoza please come up on stage? Now, you should know I tell a lot of stories in class, but maybe you haven't heard that I was once fired from my job as a taxi driver, because not everyone likes it when you go the extra mile. <laughs> However, you two always go the extra mile, and you are two award winners for this evening for the business department. Now, this is a, a hash of all the teachers that wrote a little bit piece here, so I'm going to read it here for us all. So, Tyler Lynn is our Outstanding Business Student of the Year. Tyler continually comes to class prepared to work. He gives 100% each day with an ever-present smile. Is it there? No. Nope. <laughs> he assists those students around him, demonstrating how to do the work, and then makes excellent use of independent work time. He also makes up work missed due to the many school activities he's involved in, including basketball and track. In advanced business procedures, our student-run businesses here at the school, he's become a leading manager, rising to the task of helping everyone know what they're doing, and making sure dog prints, our student print shop run by students, runs smoothly and effectively. He handles the invoicing system for the business. So far, the classes he's completed with an A are business applications, intro to spreadsheets, intro to word processing, accounting one and two, and he's currently enrolled in advanced business procedures and business computing. So for dog prints, he's our accountant overseeing sales of $20,000 or more this year. So our 2022 Outstanding Business Student of the Year is Tyler Lynn. I think I'll get it to him right now so we can hold it all the time. I just make this up as I go. Our next award winner is Ingrid Mendoza, 2022's Outstanding Business Leader. Ingrid works at Boomer Bites, our student-run indoor concession business, where she's our accountant and controller. Ingrid is responsible for all ordering and inventory during one of the most difficult years to predict or obtain product. She was the best we have had at estimating the correct sales numbers and ordering supplies and games. Her accounting duties involve tracking and reconciling over $30,000 in sales, payroll of over $12,000 to clubs and student organizations, and recording $15,000 in expenses. Ingrid performed the same accounting duties for Boomers, our outdoor concession stand. The two businesses that Ingrid worked with saw over $60,000 in revenue this year. The school district hired Ingrid as one of the student managers responsible for overseeing the operations of concessions during games. She handled all food preparations, training of the staff working the games, and cleanup duties. Those advisors that worked with her often commented on Ingrid's calm and organized presence when helping. Ingrid is always dependable and professional in her work experience, her work experiences, excuse me. She makes sure that the tills have money, she cooks and prepares the needed product, provides professional customer service, cleans and closes, and according to Ms. Strasley, handles the unannounced health inspections with ease. Classes completed so far for Ingrid are business apps, and for spreadsheets and word processing, accounting one and two, and marketing one and two. She's currently enrolled in advanced business procedures and business computing. So our 2022 Outstanding Business Leader, Ingrid Mendoza.
Cosette, Cozy as we all like to call her, um, has been involved in activity ever since she walked into the door of Ferguson High School this fall. As a freshman, she has already established herself as a strong leader within the program, demonstrating not only the individual work ethic, but also a willingness to help others succeed as well. So I'm very proud of each of these young ladies, and I'm proud to bestow upon them their plaques.
So I had the pleasure of uh, uh, introducing our outstanding beginner and advanced Spanish uh, awards. And those students would be uh, Connor Roberts and Michaela Thomas.
She is not hesitant to get to know those around her and to create a culture and family within her surroundings. Samantha has performed in the Hurston High School's top auditioned ensemble chamber choir for three years, Majesty our auditioned acapella choir for three years, and has been involved in the choral and drama programs for all four years of her high school career. Sam has served in several leadership positions in both choir and theater, and this uh, last winter sang the lead role of Belle in our musical Beauty and the Beast. It has been an honor to have been your teacher. I am so proud of you, I'm not going to cry. And I am excited to present the Coral Department Award to Samantha Steffi. Thank you. 
portrayed so much in the media and artwork in the school, um, and how she served as an example of the level of design that a student can uh, achieve and create here at HHS. But we don't have all that in Salt Lake Um I remember the first time I had Bridget in class. Uh, she was this quiet, great girl that had some of the most interesting and wacky designs I'd ever seen. Um, I'm not sure, I wasn't sure if she was going to take my class again. Uh, but every year she did, and every year she improved more and more. In the classroom, she could be seen um, helping her peers and stepping up to larger projects. Um, and now as a senior, she's uh, quite an asset to the community, being involved in extracurriculars outside of school, as well as leading clubs in school. Um, lastly, um, I think one of the hallmarks of um, Bridget's development as an artist is how she's developed a strong voice and idea of who she is and what her work expresses. She is confident in what she creates and is deliberate in the choices that she makes. It's been such an honor to teach her for four years and a privilege to present this award for the Outstanding Media Arts Student to Bridget Sanders. made him 
outstanding in the advanced mathematics right now. He's taking um, Math 112, which is pre-calculus speed. And uh, he's a leader in the classroom. He helps run study groups, gets people prepared to succeed because he knows how to succeed. So great job, Jerry. Early 
and then she helps her peers and sometimes her teachers. Congratulations, Amara. Let's keep the class 
aspects going, you research that and then get back to us when you're done. So I hope you know, Connor, he was already up here earlier, outstanding student. And honestly, there are a lot of outstanding students here. And, you know, uh, so this work that we've gotten to a lot of people, but I chose Connor just because he cares about content. Uh, you know, he's, he's a likable guy. He does really well in his uh, classwork. And I'm just uh, he's very excited to have him in class this year. Thank you, Connor.
consistently has a positive attitude and a big smile on her face. Kids respond so well to her. After lessons, she would confess to me how nervous she was, and I would be baffled. Moving into her senior year, she was put into a student teaching type practicum in a kindergarten class in Highland Hills. Maylin found her niche. Uh, throughout this year, I have seen her grow confident and grow and grow as well as love for teaching. Not only am I impressed with her, her cooperating teacher that she opted to work with all year has nothing but glowing uh, things to say about her. Ms. Searns, Kearns, uh, commented to me about how um, war worthy she believes Maylin is, noting how dedicated she has shown up earlier than expected, staying extra to get more time with her class, how hardworking she is, never one to sit in the sidelines, consistently jumping in and helping where needed, how she is consistently stepping up to the plate to help students, running small groups, polling and assessing students in classes, even with the other um, kinder classes, giving a phonological intervention as needed. Good job. Ms. Uh, Kearns uh, says that the plain and simple mailing is a rock star, and she is so thankful for her help in this school year. Good job. Thanks, Mary. Jessica, it's lucky at the here tonight that we have been asked to give out speech speeches to a time limit because I can talk to you about this young lady all night. Our history actually goes back to when I used to sub in her fifth grade class. And let me tell you, not much has changed about her. She was my go-to helper when I was subbing, and she's my go-to helper in all of my classes in life. This year, Jessica and I have gotten closer than ever this year as she is taking my Oregon Teaching Pathways class. I've never been a more passionate, mature, driven, neurotic, intelligent, no getter, all of my years here. She is one of a kind. Jessica not only stands out to me, but to every teacher that she gets the privilege of watching her teach. There are countless times that teachers and staff at West Park Elementary, where she mostly works, have made comments about how amazing she is, um, because she went out of her way to help out with naturally she is when it comes to teaching. More recently, in her third grade placement, Mrs. Morgan had commented several times on her intuitiveness when working with her buddy, as well as her ability to change up her teaching style. Uh, after a multitude, multitude of other well-deserved compliments said to me, she was excited for the future of education when she sees her wanting to become an education. I could not agree more, Jessica. I can't wait to see the change you make in the world and the wonderful impact you are going to make on our future generations of students.
here and he said, hi, it's me, I'm Jesus. Um, my name is Brianna Gilman, I'm one of the special ed teachers and I also teach an ACT class this year. This year's special per, uh, program award and life skills award goes to Jesus Tejeda. Jesus has been, <laughs> Jesus has been making amazing progress throughout all four years that we've had him, including uncertain COVID times when he didn't know his schedule. Mrs. Young writes, I am so proud to be sending him off to Next Steps next year and can't wait to see what the future has in store for Jesus. I am pleased to pronounce my
pleasure of teaching the best athletes in the school as a strength and conditioning coach. Over the past five years, I have had all girl athlete classes. These classes have changed female athletics here at HHS. Hundreds of girls show up in the summertime lifting weights. Two classes have been dedicated to just females. There are that many girls lifting, it's impressive. Girls are now raised into that culture. They don't know any different. The girls before them have set the example of what it looks like to work out at a high level and set big goals. This year, I have an amazing senior class of young women who have dedicated summers and four years in the strength and conditioning program. Cambry Baker is one of those girls, but there are a few things that set her apart, and these are why she is this year's recipient of the PE Student of the Year Award. Number one, this girl gives zero excuses. She played an entire volleyball season with a broken wrist and didn't miss a game. And you know what she was upset about? Not getting to max out on bench press. Number two, <clears throat> she is a competitor. She, expect, she accepts nothing less than her best. When others get intimidated by a workout, she gets excited. Number three, she has a love for the weight room and working out like I have never seen before with another student. The weight room has become her sanctuary. This hard work has helped her earn seven varsity letters over her high school career and a scholarship to play volleyball in college. Cameron, continue to challenge yourself physically, mentally, every day. Remember that strong is beautiful and never skip left arm day. Congratulations. and has even passed 
Yesenia Carrillo, but standing in for her is Ben Dagley. So if I could invite the award winner up to the stage, Rebecca Goodway.
Grant Hills Program of Study in Agriculture. Gisela Gonzalez, Program of Study in Finance and Marketing. Kathleen Oliveira, Health Sciences Program of Study. Andrea Munoz Aviela, Program of Study in Finance. Alicia Kern, Program of Study in Finance. Kyle Ashcraft, Program of Study in Engineering. Janelle Bethinas, Program of Study, Engineering. Also graduating honors and valedictorian. Giselle Guadalupe Alatore Ledesma, Program of Study in Arts. Julissa Sanchez Lopez, Program of Study, Education and Health Sciences. Maria Jose Flores Carajal, Program of Study in Health Sciences, graduating with honors. Joel Lopez, Program of Study in Arts, Finance, and Marketing. Zachary Patterson, Program of Study in Arts. Mariah Blake Moreno, Program of Study in Arts. Jasmine Eileen Ortega, Program of Study in Education. Brianna Ramirez Rivera, Program of Study in Arts, Education, Finance, and Marketing. Samantha Saborio Zuniga, Program of Study in Arts. Alyssa Kaiser, Program of Study in Agriculture. Michaela Schaber, Program of Study in Marketing. <laughs> Dylan Ditchen, Program of Study Engineering. <laughs> Chloe Shear, Program of Study in Agriculture and Marketing. <laughs> Leslie Gonzalez, Program of Study in Arts. Johanna Teresa Rodriguez, Program of Study in Arts. <laughs> Brian Madrigal Barrera, Program of Study in Finance. <laughs> Brandon Madrigal Barrera, Program of Study in Arts. <laughs> Alexis Gabriel Torres, Program of Study in Arts and Engineering. Eliza Rodriguez, Program of Study in Finance and Health Sciences. <laughs> Anaya Mariana Avila, Program of Study in Education. <laughs> Anaya Marie Rivera Portillo, Program of Study in Education and Marketing. Islali <laughs> Giselle Morfin, Program of Study in Health Sciences and Hospitality and Tourism. Fabian Rosales, Program of Study in Finance and Marketing. <laughs> Ryan Alexis Navavivka, Program of Study in Arts and Construction. <laughs> Kane Ortega Sanchez, Program of Study in Engineering, graduating with honors and valedictorian. <laughs> Ricardo de la Paz, Program of Study in Agriculture and Construction. Tyne Ransom Findlay, Program of Study in Arts and Construction. <laughs> Helen Dawn Cooley, Program of Study in Agriculture, Finance, and Marketing. <laughs> Karina Mendoza Madrigal, Program of Study in Arts, graduating with honors. <laughs> Carly Ryan Chan, Program of 
our study in arts. Ingrid Mendoza, Program of Study in Business Administration, Finance, and Marketing. Jessica Chavez Chavez, Program of Study in Education and Health Sciences, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Judith Monserrat Chavez Flores, Program of Study in Arts and graduating with honors. Anise Tabata, Program of Study in Arts. Leanne Warren, Program of Study in Arts. Samantha J. Steffi, Program of Study in Arts. Faith Powell, Program of Study in Oral. Hunter Neil McDonald, Program of Study in Health Sciences, Honors in Music Instrumental, graduating with honors. Blanca Carrera Moreno, Program of Study in Finance. Study Health Sciences, graduating with honors 
and valedictorian. Addison Kaplinger, Program Study in Finance, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Tyler Lynn, Program Study in Business Administration, Finance, Health Sciences, graduating with honors, valedictorian. Grace Lindman, Education Program Study, Finance Program Study, graduating with honors, valedictorian. Alexa Christine Murphy, Program of Study, Education, Graduating with Honors, Valedictorian. Adi Nair, Program of Study, Agriculture. Jansen Rappel, Program of Study, Agriculture and Education. Ian Gavin Munoz, Program of Study in Arts. Kendra Ramirez, Program of Study in Arts. Caitlin Heidemann, Program of Study in Business Administration and Finance. Sydney Siebert, Program of Study in Business Administration. Carson K. Joyvas Haupt, Program of Study in Agriculture. Cameron Baker, Program of Study in Agriculture and Business Administration. Lillian Cook, Program of Study in Health Sciences, Hospitality and Tourism, and Marketing. Andrew Guerrero, Program of Study in Finance. Ben Wicks, Program of Study in Marketing. Echo Ramirez, Program of Study in Marketing. Emilio Joseph Campbell, Program of Study in Arts. Anna Marie Eckhart, Program of Study in Arts, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Roy McCombie, Program of Study in Engineering, graduating with honors valedictorian. Carson Bradshaw, Program of Study in Finance, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Marcus Meinrager, Program of Study in Arts. Horacio Zurita, Program of Study in Business Administration and Finance, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Logan Springstead, Program of Study in Arts. Gregory Donald, Program of Study in Engineering, graduating with honors and valedictorian. Derek Devon, Program of Study in Engineering and Finance. Peyton Hoffman, Program of Study in Finance, graduating with honors. Samuel Canales Suarez, Program of Study in Arts. Hunter Dyer, Program of Study in Agriculture. Sam D. Elbert, Program of Study in Construction. Caitlin Anderholm, Program of Study in Construction and Engineering, graduating with honors. Erin Vinson, Program of Study in Agriculture. Roland Moore, Program of Study in Agriculture. Cameron Perkins, Program of Study in Agriculture. Tyler McDickman, Health Sciences. Raymond Herford, Program of Study in Arts and Hospitality and Tourism. Trevor Kirkpatrick, Program of Study in Marketing and Finance. Caitlin Herman, Program of Study in Agriculture. Ashley Fuentes Carrillo, Program of Study in Finance. Joanna Menez Moraz, Program of Study in Business Administration. Paige Ogilvy Cullen, Program of Study in Agriculture, Arts and Construction. Alexis Leathers, Program of Study in Agriculture and Finance. Abigail Tonner, Program of Study in Agriculture. Gretchen Barton, Program of Study in Agriculture. Emily Jane Myers, Program of Study in Agriculture. Grant Anderson, Program of Study in Engineering and Finance, graduate with honors and valedictorian. Olivia Baskin, Program of Study in Health Sciences, graduating with honors. 
Thank you so much for coming tonight, and congratulations to all our award winners. Have a wonderful evening.